Welcome back. We are here, ready to go, I think. Um, still a drought, so still no electricity, but we've only got two days left of that. And then we'll be right as rain, probably. Uh, they're still building this up here. They're doing a splendid job. Good job, everybody. Good job, everybody. Um, having learned some new information, let me see if we can name a beaver here. Uh, let me check all the check the beavers. Let's go by age. Um, can I go by short sort by age? No, I guess not. Uh, can you just tell me your age? Uh, sixteen. Okay. So I believe Elias has already succumbed to old age. So, Elias, put you back in using your little uh, your stuff that you told me. So, uh, using Alt. Oh no, I don't think it works in here, Elias. Hmm. So, unfortunately, I'm putting the yo back in. Uh, Timberborn's, Timberborn's just not just not smart enough for it. For the little O thing. So, apologize. But you're back in. So, hopefully, we'll be able to see you do lots of fun and exciting things. In the meantime, we might need to think about starting to get another um, settlement in here because sorry just sipping some coffee because um, we're gonna need metal soon and if that's the only thing that we need to do that's not that difficult we are pumping water We've got lots of water okay and we're gonna bring water up here just to turn this area green and then eventually Hopefully we'll get some robots to tear down this mountain. Or something. We'll do something with that mountain, eventually. So, let's think about this. We need lots of carrots. We need... Basically just need carrots. And then we'll keep a minimum a number of people over here. The problem is they need wood and stuff. And... But, I saw in the comments... Um, Luca said, uh, how come you're not putting other things on the other side? And then, uh, Michael, also, why aren't you building wood farms on the other side of the water, the top right corner of the, across the levee? Um, good questions. All of them, very good questions. Uh, so we will, we can start doing some of that stuff. Just didn't feel like we needed that much wood, but now that the, the drought's gonna be over, Whoa, how'd someone get stranded? Oh, okay. Oh. He got out somehow. Don't know how. Good job. Uh, but now that the drought's about to be over, we need to... Well, we shall expand. Indeed. We've got a couple of unemployed beavers, so let's just make sure our builders... Perfect. We've got plenty of builders. Let's do it. Um, store logs. We'll put it out here in between these two areas. If I can get it lined up, that'd be great. I think that's lined up. Kinda like that. That's fine. And we'll grow some trees over there. In the meantime, let's see if we can get this water thing. This water dump. Oh, how much science? 250. Okay, that's gonna be a minute. A long minute. Oh wow, they built this thing already. Um, chop trees. You see how far the travel distance is though? And that's part of why it really wasn't part of the plan to come this direction, just because of how far everything is. But, I mean, there's no real problem doing it, other than the distance. So, we'll work that out. Um, as, as soon as we can. 
Okay, we have power again, which means we're gonna get start getting planks and um, gears. Got bunches of people in houses. There's no extra beds left, so we'll go ahead and get another house built real quick. Not real quick, but quick enough. Perfect. What is this house? This is a large barrack. 400 science. Not happening. We need 250 for the other thing, the pump. Tempting. Very tempting to go over here. Let me just set it up. We'll set it up, and um, if we decide not to go that route, we won't. Um, we want it to be here. This is where we want to start, right there, I think. Okay. District gate, done. And then, of course, we'll need a new district center, which is free and exciting. Um, doesn't matter where, although that'll be our builders, so we'll put it there. Cool, we're in it. Need a name. Need a name. We'll give it a couple of, uh, of episodes, and if you want to rename comments, let me know in the comments, and um, we'll rename it. And while you're down there commenting, don't forget to um, like, hit the subscribe button, you know, all the things that uh, Sam Tabor would tell you to do. Awesome. Things are happening. We've got extra wood coming in. Um, and we should get is a distribution center just to make things a little bit or hauling post, that's what I meant. A hauling post, just to make things a little bit easier for all the, for the builders and such. Let's do it. Because we have spare people. Can we get a oh yeah, there is a road right here. Um is this centrally located enough? Probably. Your only job will be to be hauling stuff, so we'll see how that goes. Let's check on the well-being. Our well-being and see. We're, we need a little bit more wet fur, uh, which I think we built another one of those. And then we are up to getting potatoes done. Well, handle that. Handle some potatoes. We have plenty of water. All of our... Everything's, everything's happening. Happening just great. We're at 230. All right. We're going to need a couple of things over here if we're going to be successful. One of them is water. And let's just do that real quick. Um, I'm going to need a large water tank. Will they build this far? I'm not entirely sure. Could get rid of this set a path, but we'll leave it for now just to see. We're at 244 science, and we can almost do the water dump. The water dump, just for funsies. <laughs> I remember why we wanted to go up here to you. I can't remember. And something to do with something, but when I know, you'll know, or vice versa. Maybe you'll know first, and then I'll know. But we can grow some crops. I know we need, uh, what was the next thing? Uh, bread. So that's going to take wheat and, of course, another type of bakery and the grinding mill or grinding stone. What's it called? The uh, grist mill. Oh, and the bakery. So we're going to need a lot of science. In the meantime, let's fill this puppy up. Perfect, it fits here. Just like that. So all this does is um, somebody will have to take buckets of water and just start pouring it in. And they'll only pour it in until it's full. And then they will um, stop. And then the only thing we're using this water for is to keep the ground wet around it. So it'll just evaporate slowly. We won't have to worry about uh, anything else, but let's go ahead and we'll give him another place to shower. What does it look like? Um, where did we put those things right here? There's one there. Oh, it requires water. 
So maybe we were gonna put another one here and I forgot. That's probably exactly what happened. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So where can we put them? I don't know. I'm not worried, I'm not too worried about it right now. It's not gonna make anybody super excited to take a shower, I don't think. They do like wetting their fur, apparently. Which is new to me. We've got potatoes coming in. We've got so many potatoes. We've got 44 gr grilled potatoes. Way over 200 and almost 250 carrots and berries. And then our sunflower seeds. Lots and lots of them. So we have, we would really have no issue um, doing other things such as moving a little bit. But it's going to take people. So let me see. We need... Um, distribution center what am I looking for labor Isn't that here so a distribution post distributes goods to others and then you need a drop-off point each of them take 250 you would think it would just be a single job but it is not but look what we have here green grass let's do it wheat or, in fact, we've got two unemployed beavers, we've got four babies coming up in the world. Let's get another inventor started. And we do two more. Just put them out here. We've got, we've got plenty of resources. Because it only takes logs, and we've got pff, almost 200 logs. We probably had 200 logs before I started that little process. It takes these guys a little bit to get to the food. Hmm. I don't know what to do about that. So I'm going to do nothing. Once we start getting science, that'll be helpful. Look at how many beavers come out every morning. So many. Now we need more storage. These people don't have a lot of storage, except for this large... I guess we could do a large warehouse next, because it just takes planks. We just need 250 science, which is 200 more than where we're at now. Perfect. Oh, this guy, he's got nothing to do. Oh, look how many people are in here. We only need four. Let's, let's not get carried away, guys. We only need three. And if we did any large um, water projects, these guys will be delivering everybody that they need. Right. Let's check on... Elias. Okay, Elias is a farmer. Or no, he works at the gear workshop. He's just chilling by the farms. He's got everything he needs, except for bread. We can get them. Oh, wait. I spelled your name wrong. Please don't shout at me at the comments. I didn't, re didn't realize. There we go. Okay. It's nighttime. Not bad. Won't happen twice. I can't guarantee that it might happen again. We need so much science. We should have been, we should have been working on science. Uh, who knew? All right, is it almost time to plant more trees? Probably. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll at least get it started. Forester. That will be plenty. gap. Oh well. Oh well. These maple trees here I've set to not cut previously and they have a little bit of uh, maple I think. Yeah. So that's a thing. More things we have to research but they are uh, they're there for our researching. Anybody working here? Yeah, Jaglin, Jalgin, Jalgin. He's working here. He going to be planting just uh, maple so we can get a lot a lot a lot of um, a lot of wood in the very near future let's do it like this
that'll give us too much wood very soon. It's great because we're going to be transferring wood over here. We have 150. Let's get our first thing, which is going to be the uh, distribution post. But I thought it was 250. Oh, we're at 150. Oh, fine. That is tough. <laughs> That's a shame. We got a little bit more to wait for, that kind of stuff. So I'm trying to figure out, do we do the food next? Which means we need a grist and the bakery. Hmm. Oh, they need power. Or the grist mill needs power. But we can do the grist mill. Okay. Yeah, we'll get this started. Um. I guess the bakery's ready to research. So put the bakery here. Doesn't need power, right? Just needs a person. Uses wood. So we'll get that started. We've got two unemployed beavers, or three unemployed beavers, excuse me, and um, four babies. So, I think we'll be good to go there. And then we'll need a grist mill, which is gonna require electricity, of which we're producing 300 with our demand at 220, so that's, that's pretty good. So, 100 more science to go. Uh, we don't need you working here yet. But you will be doing bread whenever we get there, which requires logs and wheat flour. So we might as well build this food guy up here, farmhouse. Put it like this. Um, I want this whole thing up here to be wheat. Can you have too much bread? Maybe we'll do a small section. Maybe we'll put it here. But then just do the, the section north of it here, between the stairs. Is that going to be enough wheat? How much wheat does it take? It takes um, one wheat to make five bread, yeah. So we could be making... We only need, what, 35 bread every day? Is that how it works? I don't know. Honestly, don't. Man, look at this go. This guy, does he literally just sit around not doing anything while he's not doing anything? <laughs> he's carrying water now. But how often does he have to do that? I guess he keeps it full. Whatever. You do you, bud. You're doing great. Doing great. Oh, this farmhouse is already ready? Oh, my goodness. We're only going to put one guy in here. Sevo. Sevo calls people. Because um, it's just this much wheat. It's not. It's not too much for one beaver. There is a drought coming, and I have no worries at all <laughs> with water. Four hundred water, um, with a tank not quite full, and more food than we'll ever need. Well, not ever. More food that we'll never run out of. I should say. How come they're not chopping this tree? Hmm. What are you doing? What is he doing? Oh, he's chopping those over there. Oh, that's fine. This is not full yet. Good. And these two are not quite full either. Okay. Good. 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 156. I think we can do the grist mill. Uh, we, we need 180, so close. And then, of course, that'll be powered here, which is fine. Get that going. Host haste. Two more days of the drought. Oh, no, two days till the drought. Hmm. Well, now, that does affect our power. You remember in the last season, before the update, uh, wind power, that was all we had was wind power, and it was a disaster. Literally, disaster. Just, you're without power all the time. Now, now, we're without power when there's a drought, but the power options are coming up are this engine. And it's 400 horsepower. It takes 0 0.2 logs uh, an hour. So, what does that mean? So, that's a uh, fifth. 
So every five hours we need to log, is that what I'm looking at? Yeah. That's, that's so much better. Now with this gravity battery, which is brand new for this, um, we can store some stuff, store some energy, which is awesome because when the water stops flowing, we can use water power to store energy basically, and then use that energy when we need it, if we need it. I don't know, say we run out of logs or something, who knows. But anyway, let's get the grist mill up and running. Well, that takes up the rest of our space here. Of course, this is going to fail soon because of the drought. But um, hopefully it does enough. We are low on potatoes, aren't we? The, the grill is keeping up with the potatoes pretty handsomely, although we are harvesting. So there is that. We're harvesting potatoes just, just slowly. Awesome. Okay, the drought is about to start. Our grist mill is waiting on nothing, waiting on labor. So that's coming up. We can start this in just a little bit. The bakery, we're waiting on wheat, which is only 27% uh, done. It's gonna take 10 days. So another, what, six days. A beaver's injured. What does that mean? We need a, do a well-being doctor. We will do this. A medical bed takes 80 signs. Okay. Performs better when supplied with a healer. It doesn't need anything. Okay, yeah. No, our poor little, our poor little beaver guy. Look at this spot right here. Let's go ahead and get that built. This guy needs both. Oh, uh, we're making wheat flour. There you go. Uh, which of which we have none. And um, okay, we have no more injured beaver. Well, we have a five-day drought, guys, coming up, and I think we're going to we'll put a put a pin in it right here, and we'll be back um, next time. Appreciate everybody who comments and is hitting the like button. Uh, Subscriber count continues to go higher and higher. Appreciate it. Um, Y'all keep coming back. I'll keep playing. And um, thank you. I will see you guys next time.